We are back in the year 1985 as we continue our look at the Transformers toy line by Hasbro. Previously, we took a look at the Jump Starters, Top Spin, and Twin Twist, two new additions to the Heroic Autobots. The second series not only added new characters like the Jump Starters, it also saw many of the Series 1 characters re-released, now with rub symbols. And today, we'll be looking at one of the most famous Decepticons of all time, Soundwave, and his companion, Buzzsaw. Here on Creed's Collection. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Creed's Collection. Today we're checking out Soundwave and Buzzsaw from the 1985 toy line Transformers by Hasbro. It is said that Soundwave can hear a fly sneeze and he is one of Megatron's most trusted Decepticons often silently at his side, awaiting his next mission. His primary function is listed as communications. However, Soundwave often acts as a spy with help from his team of cassettes. In the cartoon and comic, Soundwave is generally with laser beak, but for the toy, he is packaged with Buzzsaw, who can pinpoint and photograph a thumbtack from 20 miles away, fly at 250 miles per hour, and carve up his opponents with his diamond hard, micro serrated beak. And now that we know a little bit more about Soundwave and Buzzsaw, let's take a closer look. Buzzsaw transforms into a micro cassette, and it's pretty cool. You can actually see right there where the tape is inside of him. Uh, that's his rub symbol right there, which we'll activate here in a second to give you a better look at. But from this side, it's a pretty convincing cassette. However, the problem is, is that when you flip it over, you can see that, yeah, it's a transformer. But that's okay. You only see it from the one side anyway, most of the time. As we get a little closer, you can see there's actually teeth inside the wheel there. That's pretty awesome, and it actually has the Side A label as well. And of course, his rub symbol reveals that he is a Decepticon. What a shock. All right, now for a closer look at Soundwave, who is a micro cassette recorder. Here on the front, you can see his play button, as well as record and stop, rewind, and fast forward. He has a record and battery indicator light, as well as an odometer and reset button right there. Now, over here on the right hand side, he has his eject button, which you push like so, and that opens up the tape door, which allows you to put in Buzzsaw. Now they're ready to spy on the Autobots and record all the vital information. On the side of Soundwave, you have an on off switch right here. And then over on the other side, you have your volume up and down. It's gonna be right here. Now, right here on the top, you have the headphone jack. And then around on the back side, you have a belt clip right here, which allows you to attach it to your pants, belt, however you want to do it. But it's also a battery door. So if we open it up, you can see inside there are two batteries. They look like double A's, but they are in fact Soundwave's weapons. So they transform from batteries to weapons, which is incredible. I love it. Now to transform Soundwave and Buzzsaw into their robot modes, we do need some additional pieces. These two go to Buzzsaw, they're his guns and engines. And these three go to Soundwave. You only need one, but he does come with three. All right, now it's time to transform Buzzsaw into his Condor mode. First, we're gonna flip him over and take these two tabs that are now in the bottom and pull them down. That creates his feet. Now here on the sides, you want to pull out, that's his wings, and then there's a second hinge you kind of push back like so. Now here on top is his head. There's a little tab that you can fit your fingernail under and slide out his head, just like that. Now you take his guns and tab them into the holes of the cassette. And after that, you're finished. You have a fully transformed buzzsaw. All right, now time for sound wave. You want to start by taking the two top pieces here and pulling them down and out. This is gonna form his legs. Once you do this, there's a piece here that you wanna to continue to fold down. That's right at his hip joint. And once you do that, you wanna go ahead and twist it around to face forward. Now, right here in the front of his legs are his feet. You wanna push from the back and it pops out his toe and you pull down. Once you complete that, his legs and feet are done. So it's time to move on to his arms. You wanna start by pulling the shoulder joint back and then around. And then on his forearm, there's a switch right here. You have to pull this down to reveal his fist. Now, once both his fists are out, the only thing left to do is open up his head, which of course is right up here. All you have to do is flip it up and then turn it around to face forward. Now it's time for his weapons, which if you recall are his batteries. 
The one with the sticker on it is his shoulder mounted rocket launcher. So you actually just plug that into the earphone jack right there. Oh, looks so good. Then you take the other battery and pull it apart like that and plug in one of the missiles and that turns it into his concussion blaster. Unfortunately, the button doesn't actually fire the missile. It just releases it when you want to take it back off. And behold, one of the greatest transformers of all time, Soundwave and his companion, Buzzsaw. Not only does Soundwave look amazing, he also sounds amazing. His voice on the cartoon and movie are incredibly distinctive and really set him apart from the other Transformers. Not to mention the fact that he has a small army of cassettes that are insanely loyal to him. Rumble, Ravage, Frenzy, Laserbeak, and several others all would die for Soundwave. Alright, let's go ahead and dive in and take a closer look now at their robot modes, starting with Buzzsaw. So Buzzsaw is probably the Transformer I carried with me the most as a kid because he transformed down into a flat, small cassette. And also he looks amazing. His head sculpt is fantastic. And down here you can even see he has talons and hydraulics built into his legs and feet. That's really cool looking. He used to have a Decepticon symbol on his forehead, but it fell off after years of transforming back and forth. And the guns and engines I repainted with chrome paint when I was about 17 because they were really shot. As a matter of fact, you see how black it is on the back of that one engine? The whole thing used to look like that. But overall, I think he's held up really well. I'm not sorry I repainted those. I think it looks way better, and I really love this Transformer. Now, as far as his articulation goes, he does have wings that can fold in and out, and they have a second hinge where they can kind of fold like that as well, which is pretty good. Then you can take his head, and it's got a couple points of articulation, which make it move in an incredibly bird-like way. I was always fascinated by this as a kid, that it was so well done with so little articulation. And that's it. That covers our closer look at Buzzsaw. And now we're going to get a little closer in on Soundwave's robot mode. I do want to point out that he is indeed a Series 1 figure, but this is his Series 2 re-release because he has the rub symbol. And rubs weren't introduced until 1985. One thing I like about Soundwave is how his fists come out of his forearms. I really wish that feature was on more Transformers. Also, his rocket launcher and general color scheme of blue and silver just look amazing. And I've always been partial to face masks on Transformers. I just think it looks a lot more menacing and interesting. And his rub symbol reveals, oh, he's a Decepticon. And here's a little trivia. Soundwave's face was the inspiration for the Decepticon symbol. I also wanted to mention Soundwave is one of the few Transformers who mass shifts. He goes from a very gigantic robot down to a very tiny tape recorder. It makes no sense, but I still love it. Now I'll take a look at Soundwave's articulation. He does have a knee bend, but it goes the wrong direction. And it occurred to me if you just transformed his legs the other way, they would bend right. His foot can also go up and down, and his shoulders and hips can also swivel back like this. His shoulder also has full 360 degree movement and he has a 90 degree bend at the elbow. Soundwave's head can turn left and right and that is it. That covers all of his articulation. Inside the battery compartment on Soundwave's back is his copyright information, Takara 74 and 83 Japan and on Buzzsaw's wing 74, 83 Japan. Here are Soundwave and Buzzsaw's tech specs. If you'd like to read them, pause now. And now for our He-Man size comparison. Even though Soundwave's quite a bit bigger than He-Man, he wouldn't try to fight him. He would just transform into his cassette player mode in front of the castle and wait for one of the masters to unwittingly bring him inside. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy retrospective for Soundwave and Buzzsaw from the 1985 Transformers toy line by Hasbro. I got Soundwave for my birthday in 1985. And I remember taking him, putting him on my belt with the clip, wearing him to my neighbor's house, and they all thought he was just a tape recorder. They had no idea he was a robot in disguise. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it and it would help my channel grow. I do a retrospective on a toy from my vintage collection every Wednesday. So to see you next week and every week after here on Creed's Collection.